In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool new tool that can help you generate custom mockups for print on demand totally for free. So here we are back on the Gliv website. I've mentioned this a bunch of times in the past because they offer a free way to use Flux. Pro. But now they've got this new workflow right here where you can upload essentially your own logo or your own t-shirt design, print on demand design, as you're going to see, and then just quickly describe in a very short prompt what you want this logo or this design to be shown on in a mock-up. If I scroll down, we we'll see some examples right here. We've got a woman wearing a t-shirt. We've got a balloon right here. We've got signs, bottles, a wall. So this works for all sorts of different things, which is great because if you have a very specific niche or a very specific mock-up in mind with a certain backdrop, a certain scenery, a certain product, and you can't really find any, any pre-made mock-ups, then this is a great way to go because it's free and it's, it's very easy to do. And by the way, thanks to uh, Penguin who pointed this out to me on Discord. He's part of the team at Glyph. And if he hadn't shown me this, I would have probably missed it. So a uh, big thanks to him. Let me show you how to use this. So first step is just uploading your design right here. You click on pick an image. I'm going to go with this design that says the mountains are calling. Oh, look, by the way, you can do it even in like a coffee cup right here as the, the cream as a logo. That, that looks really cool. But anyway, let's do where do you want the logo on a white t-shirt? Let's start off with a flat lay. We could do wooden background. And then to suit the kind of mountain or hiking topic, what could we do? We could add, there's a map, rucksack, and a camera laying on the floor. Let's hit run this glyph. It takes about 30 seconds, which is a bit longer than the flux workflows, but there is a few more steps to this. And you don't even have to be this specific. And I, I misspelled wooden here. Awesome. And flat lay it seems to be two words. So yeah, amazing English there, Philip. The AI should probably still understand that. So you don't have to be this specific. You can also just, you know, go as, go as far as this, wooden flat lay, and you will still get a nice result. You could even just say a white t-shirt and you would still have a good result. It would just be more random and won't be as specific as what you might have in mind. Now here, as you can see, we've now got hike, uh, well, not hiking boots, but we have shoes. We've got the rucksack, there's a map, and we've got the camera. So it's taken everything into consideration. The mock-up looks fairly realistic, except the image looks quite small and it's also quite zoomed out. So one thing you can try to avoid that is you could say, let's take this back to the original prompt that we want a white t-shirt flat lay close up, right? So if you want this to be very close up and more zoomed in, that should help you get a better result. So I'll click run this glyph again. And also you can scroll down and see what other people are doing. So I, I ran this prompt earlier right here. It says blonde woman wearing a white t-shirt with a garden in the background because it's kind of like a plant design. And I think that worked out really well. Definitely looks like a realistic mock-up. Can't even really tell it's AI. So it's really, really good at uh, making these images realistic. I'm, I'm guessing they're using Flux in this workflow. But anyway, what do we have now? Yes, this does look a little bit better than the original. Still not as zoomed in as I'd want it to be, but it is better for sure. What if we want it more of a like a lifestyle mock-up, someone wearing a shirt? What we can do in that case is man wearing a white shirt with a mountain range in the background. There we go. That's it. We'll hit run this clip again. There we go. That result also looks pretty cool. <laughs> it does definitely look like a mountain range. We've also got the background sort of out of focus, which is nice. And let's add close-up of a man right here at the start to try and get this more zoomed in because you know you might not want the entire body shown as much as it is here so we we'll try this again okay that does not look correct i think maybe i need to change this to close-up of a man's white t-shirt that would probably be more accurate because it's trying to get it like zoomed into the face right here so we want a close-up of a man's white shirt with a mountain range in the background. Let's try that again because I've run that twice. And it's not, not turned out too great either time. But yeah, as you can see, we've already got a bunch of nice looking mock-ups and we haven't really had to do much and they are quite suitable for the hiking niche. And you could obviously be more descriptive, more concrete if you wanted a very dark wooden floor or if you wanted it to be light brown like you can include all of that in the prompt give the ai more information to work with this result definitely looks better looks actually a lot like the original just slightly more zoomed in you could definitely take this right here download it with this button and then crop it to kind of suit more of a zoomed in close-up style but yeah I'm, I'm really impressed with this tool for the most part i mean it does get the odd thing wrong by the way i know some people always complain that these things are available for the public as well like if you scroll down you see other people's results it is kind of what comes with this being free but you 
you can always go back to these and just delete them. Like click on these three dots, hit delete, and then no one can see it. Or you can also actually remix, which I've forgotten how to do. Is it these dots? Yeah, you can click on these three dots right here next to the name of the actual glyph, and then you hit remix. You don't have to change anything right here. You literally just put publish or click publish, and then you will have this same kind of workflow saved to your own profile and then you can use it on there without everyone else using it too like no one is going to find your profile people might look for mine because it's been in videos but if you go to your glyphs right here you should see whatever workflows you've created or remixed in the past and then you can just use those and you should have more of a private setting where you don't have a lot of eyeballs on whatever you are generating if you want to learn about one of the fastest and most advanced mock-up generators that i know personally make sure to check out this tutorial next.